Um, I will say, you repeat, and we'll, we'll say them all together. So the Rakatoons, or the other name that you may hear, they are called as animated movie. Cartoons or animated movie. Let's say it together. Cartoons. 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 Mm -hmm. Or animated movie. Animated movie. Excellent. So the next one are action. 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 Mm -hmm. So one of the samples is Spider-Man or pretty much Batman. I would say any hero movie where lots of stuff going on. We call this movie's actions. Okay. So the next one is drama. 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 So mm. this kind of uh, movie is about usually it's like love story but with sad happy ending okay so something bad happens at the end so the next one is war movie war, war movie, movie. Mm -hmm. war so movie. some movies this kind of movies can be based on the real events and in this case we will call them documentary documentary okay and documentary movies can cannot only be about movies it could be about different people different events uh different historic uh events okay so and they are always based on the true stories so some of the war movies are based on true stories but not all of them and in this case we can call them war movies or documentaries okay so the next one are musical musical musical, musical. so this kind of movie has lots of singing and dancing in it okay the story well, this one, but there are many of them. So they are about love, right? So there is some romance. That's why they're calling romance movies or love stories. So it's they're about love stories or they are about romance, okay? So the next movies, not all, all people may like them. They are called horror movies or terror movies. Horror or terror. Let's say it together. Horror. Horror. Horror terrors. No. So these kind of movies are usually fantasy and they are about uh, some, you know, bad stuff that happens, scary stuff. Okay. So the next movie type is a can comedy. 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 So uh, they are always about fun or something silly, okay? So the next one, uh, cop movie, cop movie. Mm -hmm. So this kind of mu uh, movies are about policemen, you see? Police sign, policeman. So and cop is short for policeman. In, in America, we call police as cop sometimes okay so the next kind of movie is called western western let's say together western western mm -hmm. so these kind of movies are about cowboys so the guy from uh, from south america no sorry not south america from south of the states of the United States, um, and they are cowboys. Okay, so the next movie type is adventure, 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 adventure. So again, usually this kind of movies are imaginary, right? So they are not based on real facts, and they have lots of stuff going on there. So the next one is science fiction or sky fi science fiction or sky fi science fiction or sky fi mm -hmm. science fiction or sky fi okay so this movie again is imaginary and one of the best that can characterize is uh, star wars 
Have you watched Star Wars? Guys? Guys? No? So again, it's pretty much as um, I would say adventure or action all together, but there are lots of stuff going on there, okay? And some signs. So the next type is fantasy. 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 Mm -hmm. So fantasy. again, not real. Mm -hmm. Not real story. And now let's talk about music. Because music and movies are very much connected, right? So we can hear lots of music there. And I'm pretty sure you know some of these uh, music styles or types of music, but we will also just we will just um, review the names. So pop music. there is pop music, okay, which is short from popular music, pop pop music. There is reggae reggae music, okay, very relaxing. There is classical music. So this one is um, written long time ago and usually played by the orchestra. The next one is jazz. 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 So this music originally uh, started as music of the um, African-American people. This is what it's called. Music of African-American people. Very uh, spontaneous, very emotional. It's beautiful and always, not always, but most of the time unpredictable. So you cannot guess what tune will, will you will hear next. Okay, so the next style is hip -hop. hip hop. So this is more like street music. So also you can click on this sign and you can hear, listen to this type of music, just a short part, but because we don't have much time, we'll skip this. So the next one is rap. Rap, rap music is pretty much like hip hop. And um, so people, instead of singing, they read the lyrics, right? Okay, the next type is techno. techno music. So this music is created using different technologies and it sounds very like machinery sound. The next type is country music. So when we talk about cowboys and westerns, in westerns you can hear lots of country music because country music was usually originally was seen sung by the uh, cowboys and this is how it started so that's why it's called country it's about the countryside about people from the countryside and their life there so the next style is rock rock, rock music so this kind of music is very emotional and it has lots of guitar sound, okay? So the next kind is Latin music. So this kind of music is more from um, our, well, Latin countries like Mexico, Argentina, Brazil, very emotional and uh, it has some, you know, like cultural flavor in it. Lots of traditional instruments and sounds. So um, it's beautiful too. The next type is folk music. So folk music is traditional music. And we can say folk, folk music um, about any country, okay? So you have your folk music too in Vietnam. There is folk music in... Um, in Germany, there is folk music in England, there is folk music in France. So any country has folk music. So folk stands for like group of people that live in certain area. Okay, so it's usually not official name, but it's more um, it, it's more like uh, everyday language. Okay. So, um, and let's quickly review 
futures uh, future simple so I'm quite sure that you know how to use this tense it's just to ensure and review this material so we know that so future simple as any other tense can have three forms affirmative which is the sentence when we say yes to something negative the sentence when we say no to something and Interro interrogative when we ask something or simply saying question so we use again as always we have subject we have verb and to show that we use pr uh, future simple we use shall or will but if you use just will there will be no no mistake with that for example for affirmative question I would say, I would go to Thailand. So that, that is a statement, a uh, positive statement. If I want to say a negative st statement, uh, I would say, I would add not to our shall or will addition. For example, I will not go to Thailand. If I want to ask a question, I will put shall or will on the first spot. For example, will you go to Thailand? So, I am asking a question. So, as any time, future simple has time expressions or so-called single words. Remember when we talk about past, past simple? What were the single words for past simple? Hmm? Remember? You did that. Could you repeat, please? Could you repeat? Can you can you repeat the question? I can. Uh -huh. So remember when we spoke about past simple, we said that there are some single words that just should flash to us, saying that this sentence is used in the past simple. So what are the flat the the um the words? I think it is in the past. Um, yesterday or in 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 mm -hmm. uh, some month or in some day or in some week. Right, Harry. Thank you. So yes. So for a past, if we say if we see yesterday in the sentence, that's a hundred percent that we will use their past simple. But for a future simple, there are the words as well, single words. So and they are tomorrow, soon later next week in in two weeks or months um next year later the day after tomorrow or could be certain date in the future so these are time expressions or another way to call them single word sin, single words so they give us a single okay so and let's see when we use future simple so again there are different cases for example for actions decided at the moment of speech so i'm decided right i'm deciding right now for example i have a toothache i will take a medicine so i haven't planned that also future simple is used for unplanned future actions for example Winter will come tomorrow. Can I change that? Oh, sorry. Win winter will come soon. Can I change that? No. Not really. So I haven't planned that, but I checked, let's say, weather forecast, and this is what is promised. Okay. So the next case is with conditional time and purpose closes. For example, this means if we have when or if sentence. For example, when I arrive at home, I will call you. Okay, so um, I have a condition of arriving at home. Okay, and this marks specific time in the future. Okay. So, the next case when we use future simple is for um, 
unpreventable actions in future. So we cannot change it as with this example. For example, summer will come soon. We cannot change that anyhow, even if we want. So the next case is for offering ordering or uh, threatening. For example, I'm afraid we will get wet. So again, I, this is the assumption. I just guess that this is what will happen. Uh, the next and the last case for thoughts, predictions, assumptions, sureness, um, fears about future. So I promise I will not tell anyone on your secret. Okay. So in this case, we use future as well. So we, we, we promise keeping in mind the future. Okay. Do you have any?